What's up YouTube? This is Rebecca Rediva coming at you with another video. But before I get into this video, I'm Rebecca the Diva. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. All I'd like for you to do is go right on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, hit the notification bell and select all for every time I upload, you'll get notified if YouTube is not bugging. Please, please, please hit that share button for sharing is caring. There's no secrets over here on this channel. Also, hit the like button because that helps me out a whole great deal. And leave a comment down in the comment section, good or bad. But please, please, please understand if you're going to be negative in my comment section, I will return that favor. Okay? Okay. And for those of you who have been my A1s from day one, welcome back to the gang. What's up, guys? I hope my lighting is okay. Like, it's nighttime because the people in my house won't let me be great and record any other fucking time. So, hey, I had to do it when my house is quiet and the kids are settled. It's Friday night. Yay. We made it through a week. Although me owning my own business, there's no off day for me. I have no off button. You know, and I literally, literally have not been able to get any work done this week. So tonight will probably be a work night for me. It's 1030 Friday night. So yeah, I'll probably be up working late tonight. I have some things, to, some revamping to do with my website. Um... And just got a lot going on in my household, so I just need some woosah time. And normally, me working calms my nerves down because me working means I'm making potential money. <laughs> um, for those of you who have been reaching out to me and giving me kind words and prayers, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys. Like I said, you guys don't know how you guys are getting me through because I have no family or anybody that's in my corner that will help me during my times need. And if you knew and don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I'm okay. <laughs> um, this video is a reaction video. And I'm going to say this. If you do not like reaction videos, no hard feelings, you can click off. I'm talking about my jazzy life. If you're going to get in your feelings or sensitive, you can exit the video. But... This is my thoughts and my opinions, and I have a right to give them out, and I'm going to do so. I'm not going to be rude or nasty, but I'm going to give my opinion, because y'all know me. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get right into this video, okay? So, Miss Jazzy, she has a new bae. Now, she's been talking about this bae, I want to say maybe a good month, maybe a little bit more. Bae this, and bae that, and bae this. Well, 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 now it seems that Bay then moved into the house, to her little townhouse that she got. Yes, Bay is in the building. Now, where she met Bay from, probably off of POF, okay, which is nothing wrong. I mean, my late boyfriend, I met him off of POF, and I got a lot of great friends that are just my homeboys. I met them off of POF, so POF, you can find some good, decent dudes on POF. No, no, no cap, you can't. You know, so I don't, I don't know where she met the dude from, but, um, she needs to return his ass. Like, she do. Like, she was in a live stream the other day, and this nigga, I guess he was looking for something. Something was lost. Probably one of her little badass kids did something with it. But he comes in the room where she's at, and you can hear him playing his day, where's my shit at, ho? pump your brake. Why is you calling her a hoe? Like, Jasmine, are you a hoe? Like, why, why are you letting this man talk to you like that in your house? No, ma'am, we don't do that. Nigga gone where you was. Talk to the other bitch like that, but not me. Like, this is what bitches is doing now? Just moving niggas in your house and letting them talk to you any kind of ways while you're on a live stream where everybody can hear? And it was a, it, it, it was, it was, you can look in her face and tell that she was so annoyed, but she dared not open up her mouth and say anything. It was, it was, it was just like, wow. I was in utter shock. You know what I'm saying? Then she goes on to explain how it's cold in the house and how Bay likes to keep keep it cold. Well, is Bay gonna help you pay these bills? Because she always complaining and she was sitting in the live stream complaining. That, oh, the kids need beds. And oh, I need to hustle up some money so I can go to Houston. And this, that, and the third. Well, Bay needs to help you. Well, Bay is in your house calling you all kind of hoes. 
Bay need to help you with bills. Bay need to help you with the, buying your kids some beds. And Bay needs to give you money so you and your kids can have gas money to go down to Houston like you want to for Halloween. I mean, don't you guys think if you're going to move a guy in your house, it's not just to have in-house dick. It's so he can step up to the plate and play the role and do the part. I mean, I don't get it with some of these women these days. I really don't. Like, you know, yeah, I moved my nigga in my house, but my nigga paid bills up in this bitch. Okay? That's why my pockets are hurting right now because he's deceased now and I don't have that extra help. You know, but no, 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 sir, you're not going to live in my house and not pay. Like I said, I've lived that role. I've lived that part, you know, with both my baby fathers where they, we lived together and they brought nothing almost near about to the table. I had to do all the work and I had to do all the hustling. I had to do all the providing. So, like I said, now that I'm a bit older, I'm not doing that no more. You can call me a gold digger or you fucking want to. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing that no more. If you want to date me, it comes with a, with a price tag. Sorry. You want to move in? We at least going half on this rent. I'm, I'm dead ass. I don't need no nigga to take care of my kids because my kid's father, he got that. He good with that. Those are his seeds. He will take care of them. If he ain't doing it on his own, guess what? I know how to go down to the child support office and file. Because the nigga got the job. So I don't need a nigga for my kids. But if you're going to move in, you want to move in, okay, fine. Yeah, I know rent's kind of hard sometimes. We can go half and half on the rent or whatever, whatever. But best believe you're going to do your part and you're going to be coming to my house and you're going to be respectful because I have kids. You can't just, you know, like I said, him talking to her like that on camera, that was unacceptable, you know. I just feel bad for her because she just basically lost in the sauce, I feel. She's trying to get over Philip, which is understandable because it's obvious that Philip is in prison for probably a long, a little while longer. He, I don't see him getting out next year at all. But, um, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> like I say, stay tuned because the pregnancy test is coming. The, the gift registries is coming and they going to be out the building probably soon and she going to be stuck in a rut. Watch my words for it. Like I predicted all of this stuff that's happening with Liv's life. I, I told y'all from the beginning before anything transpired. I told y'all what was going to happen and so indeed it came true. But hey, stay tuned for the next chapter of our three moms. Ba -da -da -da. I'm just kidding y'all but um, that's all I got for this video I'm going to try to crank out another video um, for you guys and it's just basically going to be an update video on what's going on with me and how am I feeling and what's next for me okay so bye